Hey, what's up, y'all? It's D. About to react to this video by Nukes Top 5. This is five scary horror movies based on true stories. Um, I love horror movies so much. It's like my favorite genre. Well, behind psychological thrillers. Those are my favorite thrillers. Psychological thrillers, that's my shit. So it's that type, that genre, and then horror is like my second favorite. So I've seen so many different horror movies. They got Chucky on the thumbnail. What true story is Chucky based off of? Like, fuck out of here. I do not want to see the new Chucky because it looks ridiculous. <laughs> like, I'm not. I am just not interested in watching it. The new Chucky is so ugly. Look, like he got plastic surgery and, you know, some Botox and some other shit. And I ain't trying to watch him. I don't like how it looked. So I'm not watching the new Chucky. And I don't think that works in 2019. Like, yes, it was, like, kind of scary for kids in the... When did the old Chuckies come out in the 90s? Was it the 90s? I mean, it might have even been the 80s. But yeah, that was interesting then and scary then. But now, it's just like, it's a fucking doll. I could really, like, kick him across the room and he he can't do nothing. So, I don't understand how Chucky is working in 2019. But hey, some people want to go watch it short. Let me know how it is. Anyway, let's hop into the video. Five horror movies based on true events. We'll see. Nightmare on Elm Street. Huh? In the Nightmare on Elm Street film series, horribly burned murderer Freddy Krueger invades the dreams of his unsuspecting victims and kills them in their sleep, which then causes them to die in real life. How's that based on Turns true? out the idea of someone's death being caused by a nightmare is not fictional. In fact, Nightmare on Elm Street was inspired by a very real news story. In 1981, 26 healthy men from the Asian country of Laos died in their sleep, usually screaming out just before death as if they were having a terrifying dream. Ooh. Doctors and scientists couldn't understand what had caused the deaths or why the condition only affected Laotians. Physicians began to label the deaths as, quote, nightmare death syndrome. What? While studying the strange nightmare death syndrome, Professor Shelley Adler was told by one Laotian man, quote, when the oceans don't worship properly, then the spirits of their ancestors don't want to oh, protect them. Oh shit, that's creepy. That's why the evil spirit is able to come and get them. <laughs> Child's Play. Lies. Child's Play series of movies is about a serial killer who uses Haitian voodoo to possess a child's toy, a doll named Chucky. It soon becomes apparent that Chucky is not your ordinary doll as he begins to terrorize the family. You stupid... <laughs> well, the story of Chucky the comedy, Possessed though. Doll was inspired by the story of Robert the Doll. Robert the Doll was given to Robert Eugene Otto as a boy. One rumor said that the doll had been given to Otto by a Haitian maid who disliked the family and cursed the doll. Whoa. As a boy, Otto could often be heard talking to the doll, oh, always funny. referring to Robert as if he were real. Visitors to the house claimed to hear small footsteps coming from the attic where Robert was kept. Oh, this is creepy. The doll was found in a different room with no explanation as to how it got there. Here we are, my kept the doll until his death. Robert the doll now resides in the East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida. The museum receives hundreds of letters about the doll every year, but they don't come from fans. In fact, the letters are usually written apologies to Robert the Doll. The writers claim that after visiting the museum and either laughing at or making fun of Robert, they experienced horrible bad luck, <gasps> including accidents and bad health. They believe that they have been cursed by the spirit of Robert the Doll. In this clip taken in the museum, many believe that Robert can be seen blinking on camera. This was not noticed by the original poster of the video. It was actually later pointed out by observant YouTube commenters. Oh, hell no. I would not go to that fucking museum. The Hills Have Eyes. This is really The Hills eerie. Have Eyes is about a group of cannibalistic mutants living in the Nevada desert. They murder and feed on any travelers unlucky enough to pass through their hillside home. While the actual origin of this story doesn't come from the hills of Nevada, it comes from the hills of faraway Scotland Scotland. and the gruesome tale of Sonny Bean and his clan. Alexander Sonny Bean is said to have been the head of a clan of 50 people living in a cave in the Scottish Hills during the 15th century. The clan lived a life isolated from the rest of society, 
inbreeding to the point that some members of the family had severe deformities. Sonny Bean and his clan are said to have murdered, mutilated, and even eaten over 1,000 people who traveled near their home. Whoa. The clan was finally captured by a posse sent out by King James VI of Scotland. Allegedly, the entire clan were taken to Glasgow and Leith, where they were severely tortured and then executed for their crimes. Some believe the tales of Sonny Bean to simply be 15th century legend, but actual written accounts of the clan and their crimes do exist. Psycho, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, why are you and Silence these together? of the Lambs. Now you may be wondering why I included all of these movies into one entry. Yeah. Well, that's because of the simple fact that all three of these movies were inspired by one gruesome true story. The life of deranged serial killer, Ed Gein. I never heard Ed Gein, also known as the Butcher of Plainsfield, was arrested on November 16, 1957. When police searched his house, they found an absolute horror show. Ed Gein's furniture was handmade from human bones and covered with human skin. There were skulls that Gein had hollowed out and was using as soup bowls. What the There were hell? body parts stored in bags and boxes. But perhaps the most bizarre of all, the authorities found female masks and costumes made of actual human skin. Presumably, Ed Gein would wear these human skin suits when lounging around at home. When questioned, Where Gein said that he had started building his, quote, woman suit after his mother's death because he wanted to become his mother. Ed Gein was deemed mentally unfit to stand trial. You think? He died in an insane asylum years later. But his grotesque legacy of real-life murders, grave robbings, and insanity went on to inspire the fictional characters of Norman Bates and Psycho, Leatherface and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and Buffalo Bill in the Academy Award-winning movie, The Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> I love um, skin or else it gets the hose again. Norman Bates from Bates Motel. That was a good series. The Possession. The 2012 horror movie, movie The Possession, might not be as popular as some of the other titles yeah, on this list, but the true story behind the movie might be one of the creepiest tales oh, of all. Oh, like Demon The Possession King. movie is about a young girl who gets an antique box that is haunted by an evil spirit. Nope. Turns out the ancient case is called a Dybbuk box. And it's used to trap demons, keeping them locked inside. Uh, the real life story of the Dybbuk box came straight from the internet, or more specifically from the online auction site eBay. An antique collector named Kevin Manis offered a wine cabinet for sale. He claimed that the wine cabinet was purchased from the estate of a deceased 103 year old Polish woman and carried a horrible curse of an evil spirit. He said he wanted to get rid of the Dybbuk box after many strange misfortunes had befallen him and his family, including his mother having a stroke after he had given her the cabinet as a gift. <laughs> While the box was in his home, Kevin claimed uh, to have violent nightmares from which he awoke with scratches and bruises. And later he even claimed to have seen, quote, strange dark creatures lurking around his home. Now, as weird of a sales pitch as that might be for an eBay item, right? apparently what? someone did want the Dybbuk box. Somebody Kevin crazy. Mattis sold the cabinet to a student named Iosef Nietzsche. However, Nietzsche put the box back up for sale on eBay only eight months later, after he and his roommates began having bad luck and nightmares similar to the ones Kevin Mattis had. The Dybbuk box was then bought by Jason Haxton. Haxton claims that after owning the box, he began to break out in welts and hives, and even occasionally coughed up blood for no reason. Haxton says that eventually he just decided to seal the Dybbuk box inside a metal container and bury it in an undisclosed location. He has never told anyone where he buried the Dybbuk box. Good, stop selling that shit. The fuck? This shit was creepy. Although I like horror movies, I be I still get scared. I guess I like being scared, which is really weird. Maybe I should get that checked out. <laughs> but I actually be scared. Cause some people who like horror movies, 
they don't get scared. They just feel like, oh, they think it's funny or, you know, they're not affected by it. No, I'm affected by it. I be scared. Like, if I watch a scary movie at home by myself, like, it needs to be during the daytime. I don't like watching scary movies at nighttime by myself because I live alone. So, I be, like, hearing shit and I be, like, tripping out. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is creepy. And it be making me, like, it be making <laughs> I thought I saw something move. It be making me want to like, you know, look around and watch my back and shit. So, this this kind of creeped me out. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this eeriness in one video. But, um, yeah, hey, this shit was based on true stories. You know, y'all got to be careful out there. Because this shit, this shit be real. People be acting like this shit fake. I, it's real. I believe in a lot of this shit. Anyway, let me know what y'all thought about this video. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.